What is going on deck builders? Welcome back to another episode of Deck Tech Arcade. Today we'll be honing in on one of the most underrated commanders out of Dominaria, Tatyova Benthic Druid. This deck features the very best of both blue and green. We're going to draw a lot of cards and mana ramp like crazy. So without further ado, deck builders, let's deck tech. Any commander with green in their color identity is going to naturally be pretty good at getting lands on the battlefield. Tatyova incentivizes all the tree-hugging green mages out there to play as many lands as possible. Spells like Kodama's Reach, which on their own are already really good, become even better when they start drawing us cards and gaining us life, too. That's what I like most about this deck. It has the powerful creatures and ramp of green alongside the brutal control elements of blue. It's important to not only have the flexibility to protect our board state, but to disrupt our opponents if they get off to a faster start than us. Lands are pretty awesome, especially when they can draw you cards and gain you life, but what I like even more is having the ability to turn those lands into creatures and wreck face. I want to apologize in advance to all the artifact lovers out there. There are only two mana rocks in this whole deck. The bulk of our mana ramp comes in the form of green spells that enable us to get as many lands into play as possible. Oh, and how about this spicy play of the day? On turn 1, you can cast a green sun zenith where x equals 0 and get yourself an extra land in the form of Dryad Arbor. Because of Tatyova's ability, we want our mana ramp spells to focus on taking lands from our library and putting them directly on the battlefield. I think it's really cool that our mana ramp spells have the versatility to put us ahead in the early game or act as straight up card draw in the late game. We also have a dedicated group of creatures that are great mana rampers in their own right. One of my favorites is Lotus Cobra. This helpful little snake can net you a lot of extra mana. I also think it's really important to have the functionality to play extra lands during our turn. And seeing as the bulk of the cards in this deck are lands, Oracle of Moldiah and Corsair of Crufix put in some serious work. Dreamscape Artist is a really unique creature. Having the ability to turn one land into two is always a good deal. He might seem a little out of place here, but trust me, Baral is one of Tatyova's best friends. Shaving one mana off of the cost of our instant and sorcery spells can be the difference between sitting around and waiting to do something for a turn or having a very explosive turn. We also invited a couple of very helpful Nissa friends to our mana ramp party. Both Nissas are perfect fits here. They help us cheat lands into play and can turn our lands into creatures. Speaking of turning lands into creatures, I think catching your playgroup off guard with a surprise land army is hilarious. Seriously, if we're going to be flooding our battlefield with lands anyway, we might as well give them the ability to smack people around. Tatyova isn't the only creature capable of taking advantage of lands entering the battlefield. Rampaging Balos and Maloku the Clouded Mirror are really powerful here, especially if you pair them with an effect that lets you play multiple lands per turn. Let's not forget about Ramanop Excavator. He's really annoying in his own right, especially when you pair him with a strip mine. You might not be able to take out all your opponent's lands with this cheeky little synergy, but you can take away access to certain colors or just really inconvenience them. You can also pull this off with Crucible of Worlds, which I've left off of my deck list because of its hefty price tag. But if you can afford it or already own one, you definitely should have it in this deck. I've included the three staples of card draw in blue and green, Sylvan Library, Mystic Remora, and Ristic Study. I don't know about you guys, but I love drawing cards, and not just one card here and there, I'm talking drawing all the cards, all the time. I'm also a big fan of the cantrip spells like Ponder, Brainstorm, and Preordain. I don't think there's ever a time during a game where manipulating the top of your library and drawing a card or two is a bad thing. Frantic Search and Windfall are classics. Get rid of junk cards we don't need anymore and refresh our hand with new cards we might actually be able to use. Stroke of Genius is also a solid add here. Sometimes we're going to have a lot of mana and not a whole lot to do with it. And when you have a spell like Stroke of Genius handy, 
you can easily draw a bunch of cards and refresh your hand. Obviously, Tatyova herself is a fantastic source of card draw. Unfortunately though, she might not always be available, so it's important to have tutor spells that can help us fetch out a specific thing we need, or top deck manipulators like Sensei's Divining Top that influence our draws and make sure we're always making big plays. You better believe that Tatiova won't hesitate to blow your stuff up. We're trying to play lands, draw cards, and conquer the multiverse. We don't have time to put up with shenanigans. It's important to have the ability to take out threats when they present themselves, even if that means using counter spells. Counter spells are the ultimate way of removing a threat before it's even had a chance to establish itself. They also offer us protection from mass land destruction, board wipes, and other annoyances. We're also going to take full advantage of cards like Constant Miss and Mana Breach. We can afford to pay the price of returning lands to our hand or sacrificing lands. Oftentimes, our opponents cannot. And of course we've got a Cyclonic Rift available to us. This spell is too good to not put in pretty much every blue deck. Seeds of Innocence is a highly underrated board wipe. I'll gladly pay 3 mana to take out all of my opponent's artifacts any day. Next time on Deck Tech Arcade. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your friendly neighborhood host, Alex, and I'll be back in a few days with a brand new video. Until then, you know what's up. Stay classy, deck builders. I'll see you next time.